In my last video, I presented the new Safecast Onyx Geiger counter. As a response, somebody asked how many people would actually know what a Geiger counter is. Good point. Let's get this out of the way first. You've heard of radioactivity, right? That dangerous stuff that's used in dirty bombs, causes zombie outbreaks, and giant mutated lizards. Only one of these is true, by the way. Radioactivity happens when an unstable particle falls apart and sends out smaller particles or rays. These rays or particles can cause damage when they encounter cells, causing cells to die or to mutate. <laughs> Radioactivity is all around us. It's in the air, in materials in the earth, in common household articles such as cat litter. Even the sun shoots radioactive particles at us constantly. But these doses are usually too small to be dangerous. The thing is, we can't see, hear, feel, smell or taste radioactivity. It's completely undetectable by our senses. That's what you need a Geiger counter for. A Geiger counter is a device that lets you measure the number of radioactive particles around you. In its simplest form, it just counts the number of particles or rays it encounters and displays the average count per minute. The main building part of a Geiger counter is a Geiger-Müller tube, named after two physicists from the early 20th century. It works like this. If a radioactive particle or ray enters the tube, it causes the gas inside to conduct electricity. Every time that happens, the counter gets activated. Woohoo! There are many different kinds of Geiger counters, some good for measuring specific types of radiation, others for hot spots, others for heavy contaminated areas. The Safecast Onyx that I showed you in my last video is a handheld Geiger counter for low-level radiation, especially for alpha and beta radiation. So here we go. A Geiger counter helps you measure radioactivity by counting particles. Thanks for watching.